so guys if you look in vibration the uh, for gate 2020 there are three questions okay the question number 16 18 so this question number 18 uh, like uh, similarly like gate 2020 one question yesterday we did because that question was also cantilever beam um, continuous vibration problem so what is given the natural frequency of the first mode of rectangular cross section cantilever aluminum beam is omega if the material and cross section remain same but the length of beam is doubled the first mode of frequency will become so in yesterday's class we say uh, we saw they ask the ratio of omega 2 by omega 1 but now what is they asking uh, what will be omega 2 in terms of omega 1 so we know what is the omega is proportional to pi square upon l square under root e i by rho a for a cantilever beam now guys here material is same cross section is same so i a and uh, rho e will not change okay so uh, omega is proportional to what omega is proportional to l square so if you find uh, what is the ratio of omega 2 by omega 1 now what happening length is doubled so it will be what initial length is l final length is 2l so square now what is the omega 2 omega 1 is as what omega and it will the ratio will be how much if you square it will be 4 so the answer is what omega by 4 right now this was the question in last class also yes or no so what is the answer guys if length is doubled what will become natural frequency it will become omega by 4 so a is the answer now look into this question number 51 a critically damped single degree of freedom spring mass damper system used in a door closing mechanism becomes over damped due to softening of spring with extended use okay if the new damping or ratio for our damped condition is 1.2 the ratio of original spring stiffness to new <coughs> new spring stiffness assuming the other parameter remains unchanged okay so usually we know guys what usually we know uh, this zeta is given by c by cc and uh, this door mechanism mechanism will be critical mechanism okay we use critical damping okay so The initially your door mechanism is critically damped okay so what will be your cc it will be under root k1 into m so uh, we know what is the cc yeah i think uh, it is 2 under root km 2 under root km okay so here it is k1 now guys what happened in the second case okay and in this case zeta is what one so you can say here your c1 is equal to cc it is two under root k1 m now in case of second case it is what zeta is 1 by uh, 1.2 it is what c2 upon cc okay now what is your c2 it is 1.2 times 1.2 times uh, 
yeah yes i am correct only just a moment guys what is happening here your spring is softening so that means k is changing but c is not changing so in this case if you take your c which is c1 it is 1.2 times it is k2 into m okay so if you take the ratio this c1 upon c2 uh, which is again c or you can say you equate this to this so and here also two will be multiplied guys okay so what you see 2 into 1.2 times under root k2 m is equal to 2 under root k1 m now you can say 2 got cancelled this m m will get cancelled so they asked what ratio of k1 by k2 so k original upon k new will be what it will be 1.2 whole square so what is the answer yeah anirudh you are correct uh, actually what i was missing uh, i was writing c2 but actually it is not c2 it is still it is c1 your damper, damper is not changing what is changing why this zeta got increased from critical dam to our dam because of softening of the spring so this ratio will be 1.44 1.44 so this ratio is 1.44 okay yeah now look look into this last question question number 52 it is from 2 degree and it's a simple and good question what is given the two masses of two degree of freedom system shown in the figure are given initial displacement of two centimeter uh, x1 initial is two centimeter and x2 is 1.24 centimeter the system starts vibrate in first mode only so in last class i told when system vibrate only in first mode so what happened your x1 corresponding to second mode is zero and same way your x2 corresponding to second mode is zero if system vibrate only in first mode so we know what is our equations now this x1 first mode plus uh, this x1 second mode is zero we know this uh, not zero this is the initial displacement of mass m1 so what it is given as the initial the displacement of mass m1 is given as 2 same way this is what x2 okay corresponding to first natural frequency plus x2 corresponding to second natural frequency equal to initial displacement of mass m2 so how much it is given as 1.24 now system vibrate only in first mode so this is zero now we know what is the phi phi is always x1 upon x2 corresponding to first mode so it is what x1 1 upon x2 1 so it is what it is 2 upon 1.24 so this is nothing but 1 upon 1.24 by 2 so what is the answer it will be 1 by 0 0.62 so what is the a value clear so a value is how much a value is 0 0.62 is this clear guys it is very simple question they told the system vibrate only in first mode so when it vibrate in first mode we know this amplitude will be zero x1 corresponding to second mode and x2 corresponding to second mode it will be zero and we know these conditions are from initial condition when velocity is zero at t equal to zero 
my initial displacement of mass is what x1 corresponding to first mode plus x1 corresponding to second mode this so from here we got the value of x1 1 and x2 1 and from we know this first mode is what x1 by x2 corresponding to first uh, mode and x1 1 upon x2 1 so we got 1 by 0.62 so what is the unknown value a is 0.62 so this came for two marks was it tough if you have understood yesterday this concept of two degree with initial velocity zero hmm? guys tell me quickly others other than anirudh okay so i think we are done with uh, uh, these questions uh, 2021 paper it was a quick brush up of concepts and uh, we will see tomorrow next paper okay so any concern or any doubt you guys can quickly ask otherwise uh, we can wind up any doubt guys or any concern